Welcome to game four of the National League Divisional Series where the Washington Nationals are up two games to one over the reigning World Series champions in the Los Angeles Dodgers. And tonight could be the night where the Nationals move on to the NLCS and if they can get the win here in our nation's capital here at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. We are locked in for game number four of this NLDS. If you've missed the beginning of this series and the start of the series, well, first, go check it out. But game number one, it was a Dodgers victory, a walk-off home run in Los Angeles. A.J. Pollock was the hero in that one for the Dodgers. Games two and three, both won by the Nationals, holding the Dodgers to three runs in all three games of this series. But in games two and three, it was the Nationals' ability to score runs. Game two, it was the home run in the top of the ninth by Juan Soto. They gave him the victory. And then yesterday, it was the walk-off hit by Vidal Brujan that won it for the Nationals as well. Tonight's pitching matchup will be Dustin May versus Alex Wood. The Nats have their, I guess, ace of the mountain, Alex Wood. I mean, he's probably their best pitcher. They got him going up against Dustin May, though, and if we're going to win this series, it's going to be right here because Game 5 might get tricky in Los Angeles. We've got to go win this Game 4 with Wood on the hill. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 22 the show here on the channel. Wood going in the match tonight for the Nationals. His first game of the postseason was against his former team, the Giants. He shot them boys down in San Francisco can he do the same to their rivals down in Los Angeles he's gonna get a fly out of Chris Taylor though to start this game Michael Bush now comes up on the 2-2 count there's strike three on the circle change now the plate is Freddie Freeman he's 0 for like 18 the playoffs so far and he's gonna hit one on the ground at right to Vidal Bruhan he's more like 0 for 15 be it 0 for 16 now Wood goes 1-2-3 in the top of the first in it comes Dustin May for the bottom of the first for the Dodgers here they have 3.02 in the regular season 18-6 record over 32 starts. Tim Anderson up first for the Nationals. He's been a doubles machine in this playoffs. He's going to strike out to the May slurve. Juan Soto now in the full count is going to draw the walk on the 3-2 pitch. Soto's going to go to first. To the plate now is Fran Mil Reyes. Another full count, and he's going to get walked as well. So the Nats' top two hitters both get walked. And here comes the leader of the book club and Josh Bell. Bell's going to blast a sinker into center field. Cody Bellinger going back, and Cody's going to make the play. We're going to tag Soto from second to third. So the Nats are going to have runners of the corners here with two outs. Can Kiba Ruiz bring him in on the 2-2 Ruiz in the ground? Going straight to the second baseman and Chris Taylor. The Nationals will go down here in the bottom of the first, leaving runners at the corners to the top of the second. Mookie Betts up first on the 1-1. Betts going to get that hit to fall into center field right in front of Lane Thomas. And by the way, I do not want to talk about the Nationals and the Giants today. I mean, dude, can the actual Nationals go win a baseball game? And we've lost, what, three straight to the Giants? We lost two to the D-backs in that series. We're on a five-game losing streak. Now we get the Marlins next week. We better win that series. Probably not going to, honestly. Probably at least lose two out of three in that series. I've kind of lost all hope for the Nationals this season and we're, what, 17 games in? Let's just hope Soto can get things figured out and Josh Bell becomes healthy again right? So with two outs in the inning, Wood is going to pitch out of, I guess, someone to jam, leaving runner on first base as Josh Bell is going to make the play right there at first. We go to the bottom of the second. Bruhan up on the 2-2 count, putting one on the ground to the second baseman and Chris Taylor. One gone in the inning. By the way, still no Andrew McCutcheon in the lineup for the Nationals. We will hit Luis Garcia instead because I think Garcia is just a little bit better, especially against um, right-handed pitching. If we do go against Urias again in the series, which we won't, but if we ever see a left-handed pitcher again in the postseason, I probably will play McCutcheon, but I think against the righty, Garcia is better for our team. Same can be said about Josh Harrison over McCutcheon as well. So the Nats go down in order in the bottom of the second. We go to the top of the third. Easy routine out for Vidal Brujan, but instead, he's going to throw that ball away. So runner will be on it for Bobby Witt Jr. on the 1-2 count. Witt swing and a miss on the circle change away by Alex Wood. One gun the inning for Chris Taylor. Taylor's going to get completely jammed in the slider, but it's going to fall into right field. So the Dodgers have runners on first and second with one out. Now for Michael Bush, and Bush is going to walk. So they're loaded for Freddie Freeman. Can Freeman finally break through and get a hit on the full count? He won't need to get a hit because he's going to walk and pick up an RBI. So Wood walks two straight batters. The Dodgers go up one and nothing. And now Mookie Betts hits one deep near left field. Josh Harrison is under it. Will they send the runner to the plate? Yes, they will. Harrison will hit his cut and brew on brew on to the plate. Not in time. The Los Angeles Dodgers go up two to nothing. Here in the top of the third, can A.J. Pollock add anything he won't? He's going to pop out to Josh Bell and foul ground, but the Dodgers take a key 2 nothing lead now here in the top of the third. As we go to the bottom of the third, leading off the Nationals will be Josh Harrison. Harrison going to hit one softly in the right center field. That ball will be caught by Mookie Betts. One gone now in the inning for Tim Anderson. Our shortstop going to line one or hit one on the ground right to short, but Bobby Witt will pat his glove and make it on over to first base to Freddie Freeman. Two gone in the inning for the Nats. Juan Soto on the 2-2 rolls over 
over like he's been doing a lot in real life. Gonna roll over to Chris Taylor. Taylor to Freeman. Actually, so has been in a lot too first on the soft weak ground balls in real life. But whatever. We go to the top of the fourth. Cody Bellinger gonna lead off for the Dodgers. He'll hit one opposite field. At nothing at Josh Harrison can do about it as Cody Bellinger's on it with a leadoff double for the Dodgers. Now the plate for LA will be Diaz on the 2-2 count. He's gonna get a breaking circle change over the center of the plate, a hanging circle change, excuse me. Diaz has only got one hit in this postseason, make it two, and the second one's a big one. As he'll double this Dodgers lead, it's four and nothing, his first home run of the postseason, 389 feet, and the LA Dodgers going up four to nothing here in the top of the fourth, but still no outs. Well, there actually, down goes Kirk Sally on the circle change, looking one gone for Bobby Witt on the one two. Witt hits one in the left field. Josh Harrison doesn't really have to move out there. Going back, Harrison will make the play two down now in the inning for Chris Taylor, the leadoff man on the two two. Swing and a miss. On the circle change, but we now go to the bottom of the fourth, down for nothing. Fran Mill Ray is gonna hit one up the middle, but straight into the shift. Chris Taylor gonna make it on over to Freddie Freeman. One down in the inning for the leader of the book club in Josh Bell. Full count for Josh. That ball's killed. Deep right field, it's got carry. Mookie Best, the track in the wall. That ball's out of here. Josh Bell gonna go yard. He'll cut the Dodgers lead to three. His first home run of the postseason goes 388 feet. It's only a three run lead now for the Dodgers as Josh Bell absolutely reads that pitch and puts it over the right field wall. Four to one now for the Dodgers. Up to the plate now will be Kiba Ruiz, a switching catcher on the one two. Probably shouldn't have swung at that pitch. Dustin Megan to take it over himself to first to Freddie Freeman at two gone the inning for another switch hitter in Vidal Brujan on the two one Brujan perfect perfect oh deep right center that ball's up it's got carry it's gone line drive home run for Vidal Brujan the second home run the inning for the Nationals first Bell goes yard now Brujan does as well it's four to two and what a postseason Vidal Brujan continues to have another big hit for him cutting this Dodgers lead in half it's four to two can we get more before the end of the inning, well, Luis Garcia comes up on the 1 1. Garcia pulls one right down the line. It gets down as well. Luis Garcia's on with the two out double. The Nationals keeping the hits coming. They've got all three of their first hits just in this inning. Can Lane Thomas carry it? Oh my goodness, never mind. It's all right, though. Thomas strikes out, we're only down by two to the top of the fifth. We really need a good and quick one, two, three inning right now out of Alex Wood. There will be the first to pop out to Josh Bell. So one guy on the inning, Wood with 80 pitches so far in tonight's contest. Freddie Freeman, automatic out, obviously. Oh goodness, he's gonna pull one deep right field. It's going foul though, but Juan Soto, oh, he's gonna make the play in the corner. Freeman is still hitless in this series. Now Mookie Betts comes up on the 2-2 count and Betts is gonna stare at strike three on the circle change down and in. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Josh Harrison will lead us off on the 1-1. One, one. Harrison pulls a slurve. That ball's got some carry, but AJ Pollock's going back and Pollock will put away Harrison. One gone in the inning for Tim Anderson on the 3-1. Anderson will draw the five pitch walk. So Anderson will be on first with one out. Can Juan Soto bring him in on the 1-1 one, one count? Soto rolls over, Taylor to wit. Wit to Freeman, Soto safe at first. Okay, so we're gonna give Fran Reyes a shot on the one, two count. Fran Ram, way too late on the sinker in by Dustin May. The Dodgers have had all the answers so far for the Nationals, except those two swings by Bell and Brujan. We now move on to Andres Munoz, coming out of pitch at the top of the sixth. So Wood only goes five, and Munoz comes in this game, forces the ground out right there. Luis Garcia on over to first, will make the play and throw out AJ Pollock. One down the inning for Cody Bellinger on the one, two count. Bellinger with a bad looking swing on the slider in by Munoz. Switching it up with the heat with the fastballs and the sliders as well. Well, that slider though by Diaz is lined in the right center field. That one's gonna get down and he'll be on with a two out double in the top of the sixth for LA. Can the Dodgers add on to their lead? But Kirk Casale's kind of been an automatic out like Freddie Freeman. And there you go, Casale's gonna ground out to Tim Anderson. The Nationals go to the bottom of the sixth, still down by two runs. Can we put together a string of hits? It might start with Josh Bell, no it doesn't. Bell is going to hit to his opposing first baseman in Freddie Freeman. Freeman has got up the first out of the inning. He bear Ruiz now on the 2 2 count. Another bad looking swing at the Nationals. Chris Taylor on over to Freeman at two down in the inning. The Dodgers keeping the ball in the infield as Vidal Bruhan comes up on the 1 1, hits one a third. That ball is going to get down. Vidal Bruhan again finds ways to get on bases. Bruhan's on with the two out single. Luis Garcia following him, hits one up the middle. Tying run on first. Go ahead, run the box here in the bottom of the sixth. It's Lane Thomas. Thomas on the ground to short. Bobby Witt, easy way over to Chris Taylor. We say it every time. Lane Thomas struggles with right-handed pitching, and he struggles really bad with it. We now go to the seventh. Scott Alexander pitching for the Nationals. He's been all right so far in the postseason over 
you know, two thirds of an inning. He's gonna get that ground out right there. Luis Garcia, jump throw. Garcia is gonna make the play. One gone in the top of the seven to the plate is in the top of the order, which means Chris Taylor. And Taylor is gonna get jammed on that sinker in on the hands. Lane Thomas is under it in center field. Second out the inning right there for Alexander against his former team. Michael Bush now the lefty lefty two two count. Bush hits one to right field. There is the chosen one in Juan Soto. The Nats have got nine outs remaining. Can they put together at least two runs? Tyler Duffy now pitching for the Dodgers. He comes in and he walks Josh Harrison. Lead off runner on for the top of the order. Can we do anything with it? Why did I swing at that? Oh my goodness. Tim Harrison's gonna strike out on the fastball up. One gone in the inning for Juan Soto on the 2-1 Soto on the ground, knocked down by Freeman. Freeman the wet, wet back to Freeman and the Dodgers turn two. The Nats get nothing in the bottom of the seventh. To the top of the eighth, Freddie Freeman again, automatic out. He's gonna ground out to Scott Alexander. Alexander does his job in the top of the eighth. And now we bring in Alex Reyes, who's pitched every single game so far in the NLDS, but bring him out again. Here comes Alex Reyes. You'll see Mookie Betts first in the one, two, and Betts, what are we swinging at? I don't know, but he strikes him out on the fastball in, two down for AJ Pollock. And Pollock lines one to left field. Can Harrison cut it off and keep him to one? He will. Nice play in the outfield right there, definitely by Josh Harrison, making Wayne out to the plate for Cody Bellinger on the 2-2 count. Bellinger hits one to the left. That's a ball Josh Harrison can get to on the fly. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Still down by two. Pitching now for the Dodgers will be Tony Gosling. Area of 2.45 for two games and three and two thirds innings pitched so far in the postseason. The Nationals have been able to hit him so far. Fremil Reyes blasts one in deep center field. Oh, it's caught the wall. I thought Fran Ram got a hold of that one right there. I mean, he did, it just didn't get out the park. And now Josh Fell's looking silly on the slider. Two down the inning for Key Bear Ruiz on the two one count. Ruiz gonna get popped out. Not looking good for the Nats right now as they are down to their final three outs. But first we go to the top of the ninth. I'm bringing in Zach Greinke. We don't really have that many more righties left in the pen. At least those who are healthy to go or you know have stamina to go. I would bring in Loizaga, but it's not a safe situation and we're down by two. I'd rather bring in Greinke and hope he can just get three outs. So he is our fifth starter, but again, we're running a four man rotation, at least right now in the postseason. He'll get the first doubt. Kirk Sally now the one, two. Hits one up the middle. Never good when you give Kirk Sally hits. Yeah, I mean, known for his defense, because Sally's going to pick up a single. Bobby Witt now on the 2-2, hits one past Tim Anderson. We were in double play depth, and it will be runners on first and second now for the hitter and Chris Taylor. 1-1 one, one count. Taylor pulls one left field. Josh Harrison crashing. Oh, he doesn't make the play. And that's going to score at least one. Kirk Casale's very slow. So on his ass running to home is going to be Bobby Witt, and Witt's going to score as well. It's 6-2 to two Dodgers. And that does it for Zach Granke. So now we bring in a different Zach, Zach Britton. Yeah, Granke was horrible. Like, there's nothing else about it. I mean, he's like 40, 70 overall. We bring in Britton for Michael Bush. Bush hits one to left field. Josh Harrison is there to make the play. Runner stays put at second base. And now we get, of course, our automatic out in Freddie Freeman. Full count to Freddie. And he walks. Okay. So I mean, he's been able to get on base, but he just can't get a hit. Mookie Betts down the 2 2 count. Hits one at deep left field. Oh, my into the gap. Josh Harrison going back to the warning track. Harrison will make the play. But the Nationals are down by four runs now. Going in the bottom of the ninth. Phil Bickford is the pitcher for the Dodgers. He's only pitched one third of an inning so far in the postseason. Let's see what happens. Vidal Bruin up first in the 1 2 count. Swing and miss. Inside fastball gets him. The Dodgers are two outs away from returning to Los Angeles for game five. Luis Garcia, though, hits one to center field. Yeah, I think Garcia, playing Garcia over McCutcheon has been a really smart decision. Garcia picks up yet another hit in this game, I believe the second of the contest. He'll be on first four lane Thomas, and Thomas walks too. Okay, we've got life. Time running the on deck circle. Blake Trinan's coming out now. I do believe now in a save situation, so let's go hit. We're going to bring in Nelson Cruz to hit for Josh Harrison. All we need is a hit, Nelson Cruz. We just need to get on a full count, trying in deals. Old man Nelson Cruz strikes out. Oh, goodness. Two gone the inning. Our last hope is to Anderson. We got to try to get to one Soto. Anderson hits the slider into right field. Betts is under it. And that's your ball game. The Los Angeles Dodgers will return home for game five. This National League Divisional Series is not over just yet as the Dodgers will force us again back to California for that win or go home game number five. The Nationals will send Steven Strasburg out on the bump. I assume for the Dodgers, we'll be seeing Walker Bueller. Not entirely sure on that one, but that's the assumption I'll make on that. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 24 of the Washington Nationals franchise mode here in MLB 22. The show will be back tomorrow for game number five between the Nationals and Dodgers winner. 
goes on to the NLCS. So folks, thank you for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more as we are officially on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Make sure to leave a like, by the way, if you are enjoying this national series. Thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.